As we prepare to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, Memorial Day will be looking a little different this year as many stay home and practice social distancing. Joining us now to talk about this is Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert Wilkie. Mr. Wilkie, thank you so much for joining you, us today. Really appreciate it. Um, but before we start to talk about how we commemorate Memorial Day, I'd like like to talk about something that happened within the last 24 hours. In a back and forth between your department and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, it came to light that approximately 1,300 veterans have been treated with hydroxychloroquine. And I'd like to put up a statement uh, that Senator Schumer gave in response to this. He said, quote, we need to know what the basis was for using this drug against the consensus of science, which called into question its effectiveness in treating COVID-19. We also need to know who is authorizing these new trials, what facilities are participating, and what families are being told. Secretary Wilkie, I'd like to give you an opportunity here to respond there. At, at this first question, who did authorize these new trials, and should there be concern? Sure. Well, let, let me take a step back with the, the Senate Democratic leader. Uh, I think he's trying to divert attention. Um, he knows better than anyone that we use this drug on a daily basis, 42,000 doses a day. Uh, we use the drug in coordination with guidance that we receive from FDA. And Senator Schumer voted for the Right to Try Act, which is underlying all of our efforts when it comes to doing everything that we can to save life and prolong life. Uh, we, do we do this, we've used this drug in conjunction not only with the FDA, but our doctors in conjunction with families and, and veterans. Uh, we're doing everything that we can to try to preserve life, and we follow guidelines. The other thing I would also note is that on, on the day I was on Fox a few weeks ago, uh, Senator Schumer's own governor, the governor of New York was asking the president of the United States for tens of thousands of doses. And I also want to note for Senator Schumer that he is conveniently uh, skipping a lot of facts in this argument at the same time that he has been silent in seven languages about the thousands and thousands of deaths that have occurred in his own backyard because of mismanagement of nursing homes. So I, uh, I want to put this in the context of someone trying to deflect attention from what is going on in one's own backyard. Do you have an update on the 1300, um, just big picture, how things sure. have gone? Well, we've used this drug normally. We have used it as a last, a last effort to keep people alive. Um, what those studies did not investigate were the underlying medical conditions that these veterans were facing. Uh, in the original report, we used this in the last hours of a veteran's life in the hopes uh, that it could prolong that life. And again, if you've been in the military or you've been in VA since 1955, we've all used it. We know its side effects. And as with any drug, even aspirin, there will be someone who has a negative reaction to that drug. But we are going to continue to work under FDA guidelines. That's the science. And I would also note that Dr. Fauci himself, someone I sit with in the National Coronavirus Task Force, is conducting the same kinds of trials in his institute that we are. Okay. And um, just before we run out of time, I really want to make sure we talk about this weekend and the importance of Memorial Day. And it's looking so different this weekend. Sure. Can you explain what's being done? Well, we've never closed our cemeteries, Alicia. All 142 are open. The only difference is that uh, we haven't allowed large groups of people to come celebrate. Uh, we issued a joint statement with our friends in the Boy Scouts who are usually out there planting flags. Uh, they will be tied into our Veterans Legacy Project, which all of our veterans in our cemeteries have a biography on our, on our website. At 3 o'clock on Memorial Day, they will all be in their uniforms, standing at attention, listening to a bugler blow taps. Uh, we'll have the flags out, but it'll be our people, our people putting them down. And we ask people to remember that the American, the American warrior is a unique, unique person in history. The only warrior in history who's offered a helping hand, not only to the people he's bound to serve, but to the enemies that he fought. And I think that's a legacy that all Americans can be proud of. It's so easy um, to forget the real reason 
for the day. So many folks get caught up in um, their barbecues and enjoying the sunshine and all of that. Um, but it really is important. It's a solemn day, an important day. And, and I really want to make sure that everyone knows that on Monday, um, you, Secretary Wilkie, will preside over the wreath laying at Quantico National Cemetery in Virginia yes. on Memorial Day. Yes. We really appreciate your time and hope folks do remember. Thank you, Alicia. And thank you. Thank you for reminding people what Memorial Day is about.